someone wanted to make custom bags similar to this, 50 units, what would the price be? Oh, uh, I can't say <laughs> unless I call myself. I'm digging this champion jersey, all right? Like, what, what's the Emerald key on this? All right, Nordica Polo, same style, $4.30. It's not bad. Glitter, like, it, it's like shining. What yeah. material is this? This one is made in Jakarta color and with a Lulex in it. Lulex is a metallic yarn. Does it pass the diamond tester? Yeah, uh, no, that's not that. So, did you make these bags? Yes, my seal made this. And is this real alligator? It's real leather. And you guys are factory, where are you? From Nigeria. Okay, you're from Nigeria. Yes. And what would a bag like this cost to manufacture? If it's all say, the more the demand, the less are the price. Okay, so if someone wanted to make custom bags similar to this, 50 units, what would the price be? Uh, I can't say, <laughs> unless I call myself. It's the one that can give the harsher price. Why should I manufacture with you in Africa versus going to China? Uh, because we have fine materials there. The only thing that we don't have in Nigeria is the machine. So we come to US to use the machine to shape the materials. So after shaping, take it back to our country to do the finishing. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. He's a little taller than me, but it's all good. Hey, look, I'm actually a basketball player myself. Okay. I'm digging this champion jersey, all right? Like, what, what's the Emerald Key on this? So that one in particular, we supplied it to Japan. Uh -huh. um, if we were doing it for the U.S. market, we'd make it in uh, Egypt. Our is 10,000 units. 10,000 units? Man, this is, I, what's up with the, I'm a little guy right now. I'm trying to get started. There's 350 million people in America. I understand. What's the, so what would be the price for something like this? Offhand, not really sure, but it's, it's probably about $3. Okay, and, and where you say you guys manufacture this one? So we got a factory in uh, Belbis in 10th of Ramadan in Egypt. We make the fabric in China, then we ship it to Egypt, and then from there we'll ship to the East Coast. Okay, okay, hey, man, y'all see this right here? Y'all gonna see these with the World Envision guys. We about to make these jerseys. I think you just might have made a million dollar deal over here on the line. We gotta get 10,000 units. People wanna find you and be able to get these million dollar deal themselves. How can they find you? So, hundagroup.com, we're online. We've got offices in New York. Uh, we've got a showroom, 1407 Broadway. We, unfortunately, we, we're not set up to do the smaller orders, but as your business grows and as you're able to then penetrate the market bigger and you're able to get in with Sam's Club, Walmart, Costco, we the right people to partner with in that. Hey, look, this is what we're going to do. I need all brand owners, tag your brand on here. We got to go in. Oh, we're going to go in with a few brands. We're going to go ahead and get these jerseys together, all right? We got this Nautica Polo. Can you tell me what's like the minimum order quality for this? 2,000 pieces per color per sky. 2,000 pieces, so how much per piece? Uh, per piece is $4.30. $4.30, bro. <laughs> what's like the turnaround time on 2,000 uh, pieces? Because that's, that's a lot of pieces for somebody that's just getting days. started. 120 days. You said 120 days? 120 days. So what that is, what that is, four months? Four months, yeah. Exactly. Four months. 120 days, $4.30. Mm. I guess the price is way out the, 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 the lead time, huh? All right, Nordica Polo, same style, $4.30. It's not bad. And where's the manufacturer located? It's located in Tanzania. Okay, can you tell me more about like the quality of this garment? Like what, what is the fabric? Uh, this fabric is uh, PQ fabric and uh, 220 GSM. 220 GSM, oh, yeah. hey, this is pretty solid for $4.30. Hey, appreciate you, huh? All right, we on, we on Superline channel right now, so Superline always giving out free game. So we're going to need that contact and I'm going to lead you to show everybody where they can find you and where they can order this polo from. Let's get it. Walk past this booth here. Knitwear really caught my attention. Where is your factory base and what do you guys specialize in? Okay, our factory base in Madagascar and Mauritius. We have a two factory, our knitwear factory in base in Mauritius. And we do all gauges from three, five, seven, up to 12 gauge. And we specialize in fancy yarn. That's our strength. And our another factory in Madagascar, which is all the woven that side is done in Madagascar factories. And so we do woven shirt, chino trousers, and also formal trousers, blazer, and denims. Wow. Okay. Where, where did you say this factory was? Uh, the factory, uh, not with a sweater factory, yeah. is based in Mauritius. Where's that? Mauritius is a very small island in the Indian Ocean. So Madagascar and Mauritius, they are next to each other. So our factory in that region is a part of Africa. Are there a lot of factories moving to Madagascar and these smaller islands? I can't say a lot of factories moving into the island. 
fact, you know, there's an uh, island very small and we have a limited label. So now actually we're spending our business more into Madagascar. So they have uh, enough labels in a very peaceful country. I like this one. Okay. This, what material is this, this one? This is uh, acrylic and we're doing in the garment dye. So garment dye once in gray color and after garment dye we, we do deep dye and so have a the color uh, in this effect. What would be the MOQ for an item like this? I would normally MOQ about 500 units. Yeah. And what would the cost be roughly? For this one, age is now is around $7. Okay, so if your quality bigger and the price can be even lower. And then if I wanted to work with you, could I do everything custom? Like custom oh, yeah. color, yeah, custom yeah, fit? Custom. We can match color according to what you need to look. And we even can do more colors and with all the different different material as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I could do like three colors if I want on this. Most of our people were doing the same color, like same color base, like gray, gradually into light gray to dark gray. Or you can have a light blue to the same color. We can do two contrast color if you want to, but we'll be in more like uh, only two color, one at top, one at the bottom. This material is a little different from this. What material is this? Uh, this is our new yarn. We give a name called Aurora. Okay, they got wool, nylon, polyester, polyamide, and acrylic blended. Okay, so they come with uh, uh, the, the wool, it is a very special wool from South Africa. It's called mohair. Okay, so give a very nice handle. So this is a mohair sweater. Yeah, it's a mohair mix, basically. It comes with a lot of different colors. Yeah, this looks like a luxury product right here. Oh, yes. On market, uh, the price is a little bit higher, something like this, about $15. What's the MOQ? Also 500 Yeah, all our garment MOQ is 500 If I was a smaller brand and I wanted to do a lower MOQ, do you guys do anything like that? If uh, I we wanted... Can, we, can, we can specially uh, uh, arrange that. If you, the only limit is if a small MOQ, we need to choose a color from the shade color. Okay, and now for special color, we can't buy less than 500. That makes sense. And then I also saw this like um, glitter, like it's like shining. What yeah. material is this? This one is made in jacquard colors, 12 gauge in jacquard. Okay, and we got Lulex in it. The Lulex we are using is special Lulex. It's not too scratchy. Okay, so this is a very special Lulex. What is Lulex? Lulex is a metallic yarn. Okay, the HD is the metal fibers, but more in like a polyester base, but plated with metal shine. So there's metal in here? Yes, yes, there's metal, but very, very thin metal. Does it pass the diamond tester? Uh, no, 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 that's not. It's and if I wanted to do this, could I make any design like this? Oh, um, yes, any design you want, we can do it, and many colors as well. So normally you can do up to six, seven colors. And what would be the MOQ on an item like this? Also, uh, this one MOQ might be a bit of a problem because a lot of colors. Each color we need to have about maybe 50 kg. So MOQ will come up about maybe 1,000. If I wanted to do seven colors similar to this, what would the cost be roughly? This one would be around maybe $12. Yeah. It's not bad. Not, not bad, you know. You know, we, we start to develop African country. Our labor costs much cheaper than the Asia, most of the Asian country. If somebody wanted to work with your factory, how could they find you? Do you have a name card? This is our name card here. This is our name card. And this is our brochure. Okay. And this is our brochure, this is our logo. And from inside, you will see all our factories. You can take one. Yeah, so I walked past your booth and your tie-dye really caught my attention. Where's your factory based and what do you guys specialize in? Okay, so we are based in Ghana, West Africa, and we do woven and knits. We do medical scrubs. We do casual wear. We also do, as you rightly said, tie and dye and batik. And then we do pet products as well, dog mats, cat toys. What's your favorite type of product that you guys carry? My favorite? Yeah, that's an interesting one. I, I don't actually have a favorite. I just love to hear the sound of machines and my workers working. That's all. For a product like this, uh, what material is this made out of? Yeah, 100% cotton jersey. How does this uh, tie-dye process work? Like, how do you guys get it this wash? Okay, first you choose your colors, and then you tie the areas that you want dipped in the different colors. Then you dip them in, it dries, then you dip the second one, it dries. Then after everything is done, you wash it and dry. 
Is this all a hand done process? This is all hand done. Wow. Yeah. If somebody wanted to work with your factory and get a product like this made, what would be the MOQ they need to start with? All right, so the MOQ is 24, and so it's not a lot. So we cater for small boutiques and um, online shops and things like that, yeah. What would the cost be roughly if somebody wanted to order something similar to this? All right, so the wholesale price for this one, I think is $28. It's a little expensive, but it's all hand done. That's, and, that's yeah. what makes the difference. Yeah. We also have other products that is printed yeah. and there's no hand work in there. That one, the wholesale price is like $12. Yeah. You know, but this is hand dyed, so it makes it makes it very expensive, yeah. And could somebody pick any type of color they want to go on here? Yes, you can pick any colors you want. Wow. Uh, the only thing is that you know with batik because it's hand dyed, you might not get it exactly what you want, but close to it. So no two pieces will be the exact same. No, no two pieces will be the exact same. If somebody wanted to find your factory and work with you, how could they find you? All right, so online you can find us at kadmanufacturing.com. So here at this booth, uh, what does your factory specialize in? Uh, we are uh, specialized in denim and oven products and especially the fashion product also. We are based on Madagascar, which is a unique island, you know about that. Our advantage is we have multi-product facility in the in same premises and we have thousand employees working under our one roof. So we are making the denim, we are making the needs, and we are making the woven products as well. So that's how it is. Madagascar like the movie? Have you yeah, seen that? exactly. When you listen Madagascar, everybody remember the movie Madagascar. <laughs> uh, is there a lot of factories in Madagascar right now? Or? 100 factories, and it's growing. It's, growing. it's like a small island, right? It's small, but uh, not very small. It's third highest island in the world. So I saw some of this denim. I feel like this really big baggy denim yes. is really in right now. Yeah. And I see you have the cords at the top. Yes. What material is this denim? It's like a 98% cotton, 2% spandex. We can do different kind of washes and all the dry processes. And it's very common now because everybody, uh, you know, wearing the loose feeds and especially the cargoes like this. If you see there, these kinds of cargo joggers also we are producing. If I wanted to produce my own custom piece of denim with you, mm -hmm. uh, custom wash, custom fit, mm -hmm. what would be the MOQ to work with your factory? No, to be honest, uh, our aspect, because we are supplying to Sam's Club, we are supplying to Walmart store also. But So on that note, it's a little big, but we have a uh, niche market lines, like uh, for the small, small quantity. So any quantity we can absorb with that. Any quantity? Let's say uh, 50 to 100 also we can supply if you want. Okay, so if I wanted to start a new brand, work with your factory and I wanted to do 100 pieces of denim, mm -hmm. what would the cost be roughly? Uh, if it depends on how look and aesthetic you need it. So I would say roughly it will be uh, 8 to 12 dollars in between. And that's FOB or DDP? FOB. FOB. If you want DDP, that also we can work out. Somebody wanted to find your factory and contact you. Do you have a contact card? Yes. 